So one of my goals, I, I listen to a lot of books. I, I love it. One of my new goals is to share on here a book a week with you guys. Audiobooks, guys. Audiobooks. <laughs> That's about all I can do. So one that I've recently listened to is The Kiss Quotient. Okay. A little embarrassed to admit that I listened to this entire book because there was a couple times where I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, are you serious? This is so cheesy. This is so corny. This is like one step below Fifty Shades of Grey. It reminded me a lot of that book. Um, it's It was pretty... Okay, lots of sex. And it was one of those books where I couldn't listen to it with the kids anywhere near me because it wasn't just like, oh my gosh, this is a suspenseful moment. It was more like, oh my gosh, his erect member is pushing against his fly. Like, it's that kind of a thing. <laughs> so the book was about um, an autistic woman who is, I, I believe they referenced Asperger's at one point. So very, very, very intelligent, very well off, rich family. She, you know, mom pressure. It's so, it was a very, it's a very typical story. Pressure from mom to get married, have kids, but she's doing just fine on her own, succeeding in her personal career. She looks for a man because one of her coworkers says you need practice dating or with practice with sex. So she looks for a man who is an escort, they end up falling in love, but they, you know, they can't be together. You got a little Romeo and Juliet thing going on. They can't be together because they're different classes and his dad did bad things. And, you know, she has, she has, you know, this disability and like, it was ridiculous. So, um, really the entire time you just want to be her because she sounds amazing. Uh, he, they, they both just have baggage, emotional baggage. You can guess what happens. So, he helps her explore her sexuality and she, you know, falls in love with him. He falls in love with her. I'm not spoiling anything. It was exceptionally predictable. Um, I'd probably give it like a three just because I did listen to the whole thing, but it was very, you know what though? Here's the deal. If you like a very predictable story. So I sometimes talk about books on my, I need to come up with a rating system. I talk about books sometimes where how focused you have to be. So do you have to pause the book to run the garbage disposal? Do you have to pause the book to go throw something in the trash? Or can you just let it keep playing so that, you know, you, you can let it keep playing and you come back and you miss nothing? Um, this book was definitely like a 9 out of 10, 9.9 .9 out of 10 on that scale. Like you could totally walk away for a few minutes, come back and pick right back up where you left off. Like you're not going to miss any, nothing crazy is going to happen. A name's not going to get dropped. Nothing's going to happen. That's going to affect the rest of the book. Basically. Um, maybe there's a moment or two where you're like, Oh, that's helpful. Cause now I know who this person is, but nothing, you couldn't figure it out. So, uh, I did enjoy it though. I mean, I did listen to it. It was, uh, it entertained me for a couple of days. Um, I want to say it was like a seven hour book. Again, I should know pages. I don't know pages. I just know based off of the length of the listen. Um, but it was good. So it was, I mean, it was okay. I'll give it a three, but if you really like easy listens, I started talking about this. If you really like easy listens, um, and a whole lot of intimate time, then this book is probably like a seven. It's predictable. Lots of sex, lots of kissing. Um, yeah. So that's this book, which the name of it, the kissing quotient makes perfect sense. So, um, I want to share it with you guys. I'm going to share the good and the bad, the ugly, the sexy, the everything. I wanted to mix up my, I started to feel like kind of awful listening to all of these like mystery novels. I'm like, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to listen to like a, a romance. It was romantic. Um, co it was a Cosmo recommendation on my library. <laughs> so anyways, that's it. I will talk to you guys with another book very soon. <laughs> Bye.